Coco is purring on your back. Man, you look terrible. I know a few things all over my body. Sorry about that. How are you? You shouldn't be asking me that. See me. I look fine, don't I? Yeah, you do. How did they find out where you guys were? I don't know. But as it stands, no place is safe for us now. I know. Danger looms at every side. And you still want to be with her, right? I don't have a choice. You have a choice. You can walk away from all this. Allow her to face this. She's the cause of all what's happening. God brought her for me to lead to the light. And you don't care if you die, right? I won't die. You would. With the way things are going, you are likely to die, man. I'm on the right assignment here. Well, you are the one making the decision here. And I believe you are ready for all it brings. I'm ready. How is Zach? He's in a bad state. A really bad state, man. When is he going to be tried? Nothing on that yet. They just left him in jail and no bail. Monica, all this is on me. <laughs> I'm not happy. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm the reason why he's there. I did this. Why is Raphael acting this way? I don't know. Maybe he wants me dead as well. Did daddy tell you anything before he died? He said something about some money. That he needs to raise money. Raise money? Doesn't he have the money? He said he has invested the money. Oh, I see why he made Zach do the delivery. Yeah, he needed money. But with the police ruining all the plans, he had to get more money and give Raphael, I think. I don't know. Seems like Raphael thinks you're with the money. What? Yes, he thinks you're with the money, Cynthia. I mean, you and Eddie are close. Yes, but not anymore. I don't think he knows that yet. What's all this that's happening? You need to leave town. Joe made me promise not to leave. Forget about Drew and leave. You are in danger. I can't forget about him. He almost got killed for me. Cynthia. I can't leave Monica. I can't. I'm sorry, mom. Good. I can't wait for you to be off this bed. Neither can I. Being here reminds me of those days. Take those off your mind. What of Nelson? He's probably gone home. Gone home? Why? I sent him away. Mom, why would you do that? After what happened at the party, do you think it would be wise to have him around? Mom, it doesn't matter. It's not his fault. It's your fault. Yes, mom. It's all my fault. Blame me instead. Please, not him. Blame you too. You are at fault and it's at fault. You should have been the bigger person and stopped you from acting that way. I was angry. Hello, Becca. Good afternoon, ma. Liam, yeah, good afternoon. What is he doing here? I really don't want to see him, mom. I won't stay long. I'll be gone now. Daddy, you don't look good. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. I'll be fine. You will not be fine here, yeah, dad. You won't be okay. I'll be Rita. How are you? How is your mom? I'm fine. Her mom is also fine, okay? Okay. Daddy, how are things looking? I heard that the man that's meant to help you out of jail is dead. Is that true? Yes, it's true. But it's not something for you to worry yourself on. I have to worry myself on it, Dad. You can't stay here. I have no plan on staying here. I'm working on something already. You're not working on anything, Dad. I am, Rita. Don't worry. About Dad, they have a plan that can help you out of here. What plan, Rita? My dad can help you out of here. Charles? Yes. How are you feeling, Joel? I'm fine. I wasn't expecting to see you. Why not? I felt you would have run away, broken your promise to me. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that kind of person. I can see that. I'm sorry you are going through all of this because of me. No, don't be sorry, Cynthia. This is what God has called me for. This is my destiny, Cynthia. Joel, it's not your destiny. This is my destiny, Cynthia. No, it's not. See, I think it would be best for me to go away. You made a promise to me. And I'm here. I didn't run away, Joel. You aren't sleeping without me, Cynthia. We live together. Me and you. Okay, okay then. But are you sure about this? Living with me? Yes, I'm very sure about this. Is everything okay with Becca? Everything is okay, mom. Don't worry. She isn't fine. He's lying. I'm not lying, ma. She's likely to have kidney failure and also... You're lying. Stop it, Liam. Becca, allow him to speak first, okay? I don't need him to speak. I don't want to hear anything he's going to say. He's just lying, saying all this on purpose. All because I didn't talk to him yesterday at the party. You were at the party? Yes, he was there, mom. And he was interfering with my life. Liam, you were at the party? I was, ma. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. So I left the party. Yes, you left the party and now you're happy I'm here. Becca is at the risk of kidney failures. Both her kidneys are already showing signs of failing. And the liver as well is. You're not serious. Liar. 
Liam, are you telling the truth? You can get another diagnosis in another hospital. I suggest she remains here in the hospital. He's lying, mom. <laughs> He's lying. What are you doing here? I could ask you same. Are you following me? No, I'm not. My daughter is here. Is she okay? Yes, she's fine now. Thank God. Well, I came to check on your sick friend. Is she alright or is he? Yes, he's alright now. Getting better. Is he a lover? Why are you asking? Can't I ask or it's wrong? Yes, it's wrong for you to ask. Is Rita here? No, she's not. I've been hoping to see her, talk to her, but all my efforts aren't working. Give her more time, Charles. I'll do that. I've got to go and check on my daughter. Yeah, sure. And thank you for last night. What happened last night? What do you think happened? Nothing must happen to my daughter. Nothing. How is she feeling now? She's got a problem with her kidneys again. What? Yeah, I know. Liam said she's at the risk of kidney damages and also her liver. <laughs> no, 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 Annie. Can you see what's happening, child? Oh my god, does she know? Yes, she knows. They had to put her to sleep as her blood pressure kept on rising. Oh god, what is this? There's got to be some mistake. You know, Liam, he hardly make mistakes. There's got to be mistakes, Annie. I need you to get Nelson. I need his kidney and his liver. No, Annie, no. You can't tell me no or yes, Charles. He did this to my daughter. He's got to pay. Annie, no. No, this isn't his fault. So what happened between you two? Nothing, Eric. He looks like Charles. Is he the one? Yes, he's the one, Eric. That's our father. I can see the resemblance between them. I went to see Zach. Does he not believe what I was saying about Eddie's date? Yes, he believes it now. Now we've got to find something to do about all this. Something would be done about it. The lawyer tells me he's going to face some years in jail. I know. Well, he might not if we're well connected. That's true. Don't tell me you're thinking about Raphael. Definitely not Charles. Charles. Rita's dad is well connected. He's a wealthy man, Eric. He can help out with his connections and get him out. That might be possible. Hello, Mr. Charles. Rita. Yes. I've been looking forward for you to call me. I've been waiting for your call. Are you free tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I'm free. Okay, I would like to meet you. <laughs> Dad. My love, why are you crying? I've wasted my life again. Don't say that. I've lost that. God gave me a second chance and I wasted. We don't know about that yet. Said it. Liam said my kidneys will be damaged. And you know how good Liam is. He could still be wrong. Don't think this way, Becca. Dad, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm truly sorry and I regret my actions. It's too late to regret now. You should have thought about the consequences before drinking from that bottle. And that's the mistake we all make. Thinking after the damage has been done. Dad, <laughs> I'm really sorry. The deed is done, I know, but you need to understand that what you did was very wrong. You should have listened to Liam when he told you to stop drinking. I couldn't bear what I heard. I thought mom was truly a murderer. I couldn't bear it that. Neither could I tell anyone. The bottle was my only option. You chose wrongly. <laughs> Do people have three chances in life? Because I feel like I've lost my second chance and I don't know if I will get a third chance. There is no limit to chances, but any chance you get after the first is always called a second chance. Do you think I will get another? We will provide you with another chance. We love you and can't leave you this way, so you will definitely get one. <laughs> I don't deserve it. That is why when you get it this time, you need to take care of it. No more games. You can't be out, Liam. We need you, please. I can't be a part of this. I'm sorry, but I can't this time. We don't have anyone else. Ma, I said no. I won't be a part of this. Are you saying no to me? Yes. I won't get involved in committing a crime again. Look at what happened last time. Look at the innocent person that had to die. The number of people you kidnapped. I know, but this time it will be different. It will be worse this time around. If you want me to help find a volunteer donor, or else, I don't think I can help you. But I won't follow you into this quest of bloodshed you're about to go through. I'm out. I'll pay you whatever you want. This is beyond money. I want to still have my conscience alive, not dead. Plus, I don't want to lose my license. Please, ma. Liam. This is what I suggest. I've got to go. Liam, Liam, you can't back out.
We meet again. I feel like you're doing this on purpose to meet up with me. Hilarious. You thought it was then when I was chasing you up and down. Maybe. Well, you know I'm married now. Good. I'm happy for you and your daughter. How is she doing at the hospital? Fine. I hope she's responding well to treatment. She's trying. And you, how is your friend? I hope they are doing fine. Yes, the person is doing just fine. I see what you did there. You answered the question without putting a she or he. So I wouldn't know the gender. It's all good. Yes. I hope we don't meet in the hospital again. Why? You don't want to see me again? Maybe. Our daughter called me and we'll be meeting soon. You don't have any right to call our daughter. You might say that in her presence, but when it's just you and me, you don't. Why? Don't go there with your questions. I know I messed up and I'm still sorry, Monica. I'm really sorry. Charles, I've got to go, but don't call our daughter. I raised her all alone where you weren't available, where you went into hiding. You are right. I know. And don't hurt her when meeting her in any way. I won't do that. Just know that I'm forever sorry, believe me. How are you holding up, Rita? I hope you are doing okay. I'll be fine once he's out of there. He doesn't deserve to be there. The house feels empty with us him. I'm sorry, you must miss him a lot. More than you can imagine. So what's the plan your mom and you were discussing about your reader? Yes, it should have a lot of connection. Maybe even the commissioner of police or the governor. He should be able to help us anyway. That's promising. If he's well connected, he could help out. Yes, exactly. What are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Why? After you told my parents I was drinking carelessly. I had to. I didn't have a choice. You broke our friendship code by doing that. I needed to tell them. This is a life and death situation, not something to play about. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> Just look at me. Wasting an opportunity that some people never get. Stop crying, please. Everything will be alright. You'll be fine. How easy for you to say when you're not the one in this situation? You must never lose faith. Pekka, you need to be stronger than before because you know it's possible to get well. It is. Thank you, Liam. You're welcome. So we're cool now, right? <laughs> if I have a choice, you're my doctor again. Why do you look injured? It's not funny here. Is this allowed? Come on, we should fight against this. It's not right. This is the way of life in here. That's not how it's meant to be. I don't think I can condone this. Eric, let's focus on bringing me out before we address all this with human rights activists. I have bad news. Bad news? What is it? Eddie is dead. That's not possible. That's old news. Eddie did not die. Have you forgotten? This is new news. And this time, it's confirmed. He's dead, Zach. What? Yeah, man. He's dead. What? How? What killed him? You need to calm down, Zach. Talk to me, Eric. What killed him? How did he die? Have you seen Nelson, Liam? Did you try calling him? Could something be wrong? Same here. Nothing. I don't have the appetite to eat. <laughs> don't make me laugh, Liam. I don't want to laugh in this situation. You don't know how bothered I am by the fact that I just lost what I struggled for years to get under a few seconds of foolishness. Look at me now. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. Please check on Nelson. I'm sure he's blaming himself for everything that's happened. And it's my fault, not his. I don't want to die, Liam. I wish I had left when you told me to. I can't believe it's dead. I really can't believe it. I know, man. I was shocked as well. So what happens now that Eddie is dead? I don't know. Nancy confess. Your confession won't hold much value now. Too much time has passed. What's all this? Why didn't I confess earlier? Now Eddie is dead. Damn it. I'm sorry, bro. So I'm stuck in prison. Man. What does this mean? What's going to happen to me? I don't know, Zach. Damn it. I wasted my chance waiting on Eddie. And now look where it left me. There are other ways. What other way? My confession is useless now. And Eddie, who I was counting on is dead. Where do I stand? Harry, where are these other ways? We'll figure it out. Since we have not been figuring it out, we've been at this for how long? Do you prefer to give up? It's not what I prefer, but it seems like it might be the only option. Stop it, Zach. Think about Rita and Monica. It has no use, Eric. It's like my hands are tired and powerless. I have no option left here. There's nothing left for me. We don't know that yet. But Eric, now would have been the perfect time to pin everything on Eddie, making him the mastermind just as I intend to do. The detective says it won't make you a free man and he's not even sure if it will help your case. Can you see? I'm doomed. 
Nelson, Nelson, I don't think he's home. This guy isn't even here. But why isn't he home? Did he travel or run? What's going on? What would make Nelson's phone not go through and for him not to be at home? Something must be wrong. <laughs> Something isn't right. He didn't message me. If Nelson was leaving, he should have at least messaged me as his close friend. Why would he just leave like that without informing me? Or is he on the run? If he's running, what can be the reason? Is he running from Mrs. Annie? Is that the reason? Nelson, where are you? I'm worried mate. Don't leave me here wondering if you're alive or not. If you can hear me, maybe through the universe, find a way to reach me. We are worried about you. This isn't like you. Even if he's scared, he should have reached out to me. There's no way he switched off. Something isn't right here. The home feels so empty without that. You're right. It's not the same without him. I miss him so much. Same here. It's like he's just walked through the door. We are making progress. It's a gradual process. But things aren't looking good at the moment. The way things are going. Things are complicated. Your dad should have been out by now, but things are getting more and more complicated. That's why we need to find a way and fight for that. He can't go to prison no matter what. He shouldn't, but... Mommy won't go to prison. I won't let it and that's why I'm meeting with Charles tomorrow. That's good. I just hope he'll be able to help. I pray he doesn't disappoint you. Is there a possibility he will? He has disappointed me in the past, remember? You are right, Mom. But still, I've got to try. He has connections. Plus, he's trying to get on good side. Who can't disappoint? I know he has connections and all, but one thing you need to do is not to rely too much on him. Okay, Mom. The lower your expectations from people, the less hurt you will feel if they disappoint you. So, I want you to be prepared for both. All right, Matt. Thank you. Disappointment hurts, especially from people we reverence or expect much from. Dad. Yes, sweetheart. Is Nelson around? No, he's not. Is everything okay? I haven't heard from Nelson. Did you try calling him? Yes, it's not going through. Maybe he's caught up with something. Hmm, daddy, but still, why would he just leave and not even come to check on me? Life doesn't work that way and he switched off his phone. He might be going through some issues. You know everyone is facing something. But whatever he's going through is not as severe as what I'm facing. At least he should have seen me before he left. I understand how you feel and the reason you are feeling this way is because you expected more from him. Yes. And that's one of the issues with life. Expectations. Expectations bring forth more disappointment. Does that mean we shouldn't expect things? Expect, but don't expect the best. Rather, prepare for the worst so that if the worst comes, you'll be fine. Hmm. And if the best comes, you'll still be fine. That's it. I just hope nothing bad happened to Nelson. Why do you think something bad had happened? I just feel bothered and I don't know why. And his line hasn't been reachable. Maybe he has run away from me again. I want you to focus on your health right now and leave Nelson alone. If I hear anything about him, I'll let you know. Thank you, Daddy. Welcome. What do you want, ma? Look, Liam, I have some blood samples for you to test. Test for what? Relating to the kidney. I already told you at the hospital that I'm not interested in this. It's just some blood samples, Liam, to know which kidney will be compatible. I'm still not interested. I'm not asking, Liam, and by the way, it's just blood samples. I know you, ma'am, from blood samples. You tell me to do another thing. Indeed, you know me, but I don't think you know me well enough. Because if you do, you will know that I don't take no for an answer. It's Liam. Is he fine? Yes, he is. Why does it look like something is wrong? I feel all this is my fault. What are you talking about? Nelson. Nelson again? Yes, he just messaged me that he didn't see Nelson at home. He must have probably run off. Run off from what? He might have something bothering him. Or maybe mom threatened him and he got scared. Did mom ask the police to arrest him or what? No, she didn't. He must have been scared hearing about my kidney issue arising again and must have run off. Look at what I've caused. You can't keep blaming yourself. Stop it. None of this is your fault. Then whose is it? Look at how my life is affecting people wrongly. Just look at how I made the kidney someone gave me be useless because of my emotions. You are young. You can still make mistakes. You shouldn't try to act so grown up fast. Mistakes are part of life and are necessary for you. Dad, my mistakes are not ordinary. These are things that can take my life, Dad. All mistakes we make can take our lives. Is it speeding while driving, smoking, drinking, humanizing? I don't think this is out there. These are mistakes we young people make. And some of us learn the hard way like me. <laughs> 